What you may not know about Paul Revere's historic ride is that his destination on April the 18th of 1775 was the home here of the Reverend Jonas Clark. Staying at his home that night were Samuel Adams and John Hancock. These patriot leaders were there to ask Pastor Clark whether or not the men of Lexington would fight if war broke out with the British. Pastor Clark's immortal reply was this, I have trained them for this very hour. Nearly every man in the militia attended Clark's church. They drilled on the green behind the church. Pastor Clark believed his men would fight and if need be die to defend their families and their liberties. We're encouraged that there are pastors all across the country that are standing up for religious freedom and religious liberty. Thank God there are Pastor Clarks in every community that are prayerfully standing in defense of the truth no matter what the cost. For all too many years, the ACLU and other leftist organizations have gotten away with their tactics of fear, intimidation, and disinformation, telling pastors they have to remain silent. One of the things that every pastor should know is that there's nothing in the federal tax code, and there's never been a case that says that pastors cannot speak out about moral issues and their concerns about legislation that will affect them or the faith community. And I am very, very happy to be a part of this alliance. It's absolutely critical. Marriage doesn't discriminate if it goes down between Catholics and Protestants and Jews. It affects all of us. We're all in the same boat together. They want to silence, and they will silence Christians. If we don't win this battle, the day will come, write it down, the day will come when they walk into your church if you say one thing wrong, bad, about homosexuality. They'll walk in your church and they'll shut you up and you'll be arrested for a hate crime. That sounds far, far removed, but it's the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the senior pastor of Lion of Judah Church in Boston, Massachusetts, Dr. Roberto Miranda.